Yeah, I need that gas fed, baby. I ain't nothing to a G, baby. What is the motherfucking deal? Scud TV coming back at you again with gang, another gang, video. Gang, 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 gang. We're gonna do a little bit of vlogging today. Gonna hit us some thrift stores and shit. I'm with the OG Retro Dad, OG Scud in the flesh. Oh, yeah, hey. my camera ain't that good. You still dark. <laughs> Anyways, man, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna do some vlogging today. Shouts out to OG Scud. He gonna drive us around today and shit. So, let's get into it. Mm -hmm. High pope or no pope? Which one we sell better? Oh. Yeah. Just doing a little filming. We still ain't left the apartments yet. Um, yeah. We're gonna spend some money today, baby. We're gonna spend all of this. Open the door, Open the fucking door. Ah, shit. What's on feet today? What's on feet? What's on feet? I feel you. What's on feet, Loza? What's on feet? I got those, uh, what does, you know, the what does. I feel that. I feel that. And for me, I got a goddamn 350 V2, you know what I'm saying? I ain't did a review on these Johns yet. And before anybody says anything, they're top threes. I know some dumbass will be like, they're not with us. <laughs> yeah. They're top threes. Right. You're a dumbass. You're a dumbass. Retro <laughs> <You're a> dumbass. <laughs> Doing a little bit of photo shoot for the old retro dad. Hey. Ah, retro dad. Retro dad. Well, you know what I'm saying? Just getting some uh, pictures taken. Ooh, what I make them say, baby. All I do is hit them. All we do is ball. All we do is ball. All, I know. All we do is ball. Let me see your sleepy eyes. We out here, it's cold as fuck. I got my hoodie on. South side for the trapital hat. This hoodie barely fit my goddamn head. Hey, D Boogie with a hoodie. B Boogie with a hoodie. Scott TV with a hoodie. Dan's shooting this little thing for his video. This shit gonna be pretty loud, to be honest. Oh, just good. We're in it. He's back there. Uh, he's shooting it right now. He he basically just wants me to act like I'm just talking to him, and then he's gonna come up here and dab me up and shit. What's good? What up? Good deal. Let me just. Okay, that's it. <laughs> that was it. But my shit zoomed in for real. <laughs> my shit zoomed in the whole time. And that was it. Hey, this video gonna be pretty live. Basically, he gonna put like faces and shit over the shoes and make the shoes talk, which is pretty dope. Um, yeah, that shit's live. But he wanted me to act like I was filming, but I was filming the whole time. It's pretty I'm live. I'm gonna do it again. I wanna do it like two times. That way I can get like pick and choose which one. Two times, two times. Two times. So we're doing it one more time. He coming over here right now. Oh, yeah, see. Give him a Alright, cool. Y'arriba yo, mi papá y la chona. Camera, man. My boy, Brian. Oh, so we at Value Thrift in South Austin. Usually don't come out here much, but I heard they got some flame out here. Like, super, like, vintage looking little pullover jacket with a little bit of like a tribal kind of print. Zipper in the front, little pull over. That's pretty dope. I'm gonna show y'all what I picked up so far. Got this little Nike vintage little windbreaker right here, and the USA colorways. Got the Nike on the left shoulder there. Uh, got a couple stains here and there. I don't know if you can really see that. Nothing a little wash can't fix. And I got this nice little hoodie right here. I have no idea what that says. I really don't give a fuck. I like these little gold tips on the on the shits there. So that's pretty dope. Probably just throw it under something. A little red hoodie in the back. You know how I like to do it. Scut TV with a hoodie. Then I picked up this um, like NASCAR racing little jacket, windbreaker, uh, fountain racing tear, tear, some shit. I don't know. Really dope. Super dope colorway. Got the little uh, finish line stripe down there at the bottom as well as on the back. So pretty dope. Go ahead and pick that up. Also, this is five. I think this is five as well. I think the jacket behind it is four. 
So not too bad on the pricing. Uh, Retro Dan picked up this little nice little windbreaker. He's just gonna layer it over some shit. Little nice little army jacket. They want $8 for all 3M. It. Yeah, they tripping on that $8 yeah, shit. This is pretty cool right here. We got this vintage. Uh, oh, vintage Cowboys touchdown yeah. club, Mighty Mac. It's like a kids. Yeah, NFL, NFL for kids. But That's it's like dope. A large, it's like a big what is this? Oh, that Mighty Mac. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's dope. What you get? Eddie Bauer. That whole clean. Eight ninety nine. They got the nice little Eddie Bauer on. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, next piece I found is a little UCLA sweater. It also has a hoodie connected to it. It's like, as you can see, it's like has the crew neck, and then it has a hoodie on the inside, which is pretty dope. Size XL, UCLA. We'll go ahead and pick it up. Looks like real like college preppy type shit. Looks dope. So I kind of decided just to go with the racing jacket. Uh, shouts out to Loza for finding it. They kind of staining in here. I think he went ahead and put back the Eddie Bauer. I think Loza's leaving out of here with one piece as well. Uh, they're kind of just staining in here on these prices, bro. We're really not trying to pay fucking five dollars a jacket. That's kind of a lot. Um, I mean, five dollars isn't a lot of money, but for a fucking jacket at a thrift, it's kind of a lot. Yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't pay more than that, bro. Honestly. All my all my shirts cost at least ninety eight cents to two dollars. So I'm not. Yeah, this shirt I got on, I pay like a dollar. Um, so yeah. Show the Yeezys though. You pay more than that. I pay more than that. Come on, baby. We 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 bet our fetty, baby. So yeah, we're just gonna all leave here with at least one piece. I'm hope hoping that he goes ahead and grabs that jacket because I found that for him. I thought it was pretty fire. I say just go ahead and get it, bro. Yeah, How much is it? What is it? What brand is it? Five ninety nine. What brand is Probably it? Probably some like winter brand type shit. Right, let me just, let me just some Colorado it. shit. It's pretty dope. Pretty live. He'll probably go ahead and pick it up. Jumping out the thrift, you know how we do it. It's Retro Dad on a motherfucking scene. Yeah. It's motherfucking Scut TV. Scut TV with a hoodie, baby. We out here. They rolling up. Anyways, man, we all left with at least one piece. Got the little racing jacket. He got the little 90s style Colorado looking pullover. He got the red uh, windbreaker. I'm going to stop at this ATM real quick, and we're going to move on to the next uh, thrift store. Let's get into it. Next stop, my favorite place in the motherfucking world beside my grandmama house. Savers. No, we in this bitch. I like your grandmama's house better. <laughs> I found this cool, like, Nike windbreaker. Over here at the Savers and want thirteen dollars for it. Man, I'm sorry my camera's so poopy. Thirteen dollars for it. Honestly, this shit's big as hell. It's a size of XL though, but it's like super long. Huh? Yeah, the Nike check on the back's pretty dope. Uh, but twelve, twelve dollars. They're tripping on that. A and M. Even though I got an A and M hat, I ain't hating. Nice little raincoat, rock that hoe. What team is this? Memphis Tigers. Memphis Tigers. My boy D Rose went there. I might have to get this. D Rose is innocent, just let y'all know. D Rose did not do it. So I've been like looking for one of these shirts for a while, like a Colorado shirt, and it has like everything like embroidered in, like stitched in and stuff, and it kind of pops out a little bit to where you can like grab it. I don't know, I always thought these shirts were super fucking dope. I always find them for Loza and his size, but I never found them in mine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this shirt. I really don't give a fuck what it says, but it's dope. It says Durango, Colorado. It's got a little moose or whatever the fuck that is. A little um, paw or footprints over there. That's pretty dope. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up. One more goddamn thing. They've been staining in this bitch. I know it's been a while since I've been here, but fuck. I didn't know they was doing people like this in here, man. When I used to come here, I used to get shirts for like $2. They charging goddamn $7 a shirt now. I got lucky on this one. This one at least four fifty, dollars but goddamn. They charging goddamn like $5, $6, 7 $8 a shirt in here now. 
I'm like, man, I don't even want to call Savers my favorite place no more. But they got the flame. They got the flame. I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't lying to you about that. They got the flame here, but I'm saying. But prices went up. Just to let y'all know, if you just fucking decide to go there and they're like, oh, Brian's a fucking liar. They don't got the, they don't got the licks here. They, they used to. I guess they just got smart. They seen, they seen me coming in here with the camera and shit. They see, they see me balling out at the gym and this bitch every time I come in here. So they probably got smart and just raised their prices. But I just kind of wanted to add that in there. They, they don't raise the prices on everything in here, man. Kind of sucks. It's dope to me, bro. That's a lot of fun. Turn around and back and say, son. It says volunteered and it's signed by some people I don't know. But the front of it is dope. I signed the back of that bitch. That shit. Ozzy Smith. Oh, sure. Pro Lair. Get about it, Las Vegas. That hope pretty fun. Get about it. I know what this shirt is. I like animals and shit. I think that shit's funny. Corona. That hope is fire. A little Mexican dude on the back. He, <laughs> he's, <laughs> that's funny. He's Mexican, but he says I'm Irish. Brango, Colorado. I hope pretty fucking fire to me, bro. United States Postal Service. <laughs> that shit funny as fuck, bro. We are at Uptown Cheapskate in uh, South Austin. I've never been here before. Kind of looked like a Buffalo Exchange kind of place. Let's see what's in here. Finally made it back to the crib. You can see he exhausted over there. Got a little bit of the pickups right there that I picked up today. Uh, kind of a long day. Got stuck in traffic most of the way over there down south. We really don't, we tend not to go down there as much. Um, we kind of live north, so we kind of do all of our shopping down here as far as thrifting goes. And uh, But, you know, I, I had to take them down there. I know that they hit up all the stores down north uh, yesterday. But, uh, yeah, I, I told them that they had a lot of heat down there down south. Every time we go down there, we always pick up something nice. So, decided to just go down there. There's the OG Scud. He just got done taking a shit. You know how we do it. Do your, dance, do your dance, do your dance, do your dance, do your dance. So yeah, man, that's going to be it for today. I appreciate y'all watching, appreciate the love, appreciate the support. If you don't already subscribe to Retro Dan, go check out his channel. He's pretty dope. He's not as funny as I am, but you know what I'm saying? He's kind of more serious and shit. That's why, you know what I'm saying? He's not that funny. You know what I'm saying? Me and OG Scub be on that, be on that shit. Be on that shit. Yeah. Do your dance, do your dance. Yeah. Yeah, you already know. But yeah, man, appreciate y'all watching, man. More videos coming soon. I'm probably going to do a review on these V2s. I ain't really got much to say about them. Shouts out Kanye 2020. All that, all that. Let's get TV. We out, man.